Al, this is the first note of which J. Cole song? Mm. First things first, recipes of a fail. Apparently. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I have to take your first oh, answer. See, I got the wrong one! Welcome to MTV's Stan vs. Stan, the internet game show where hardcore fans flex their knowledge on their favorite artists. Now today, we are diving headfirst into hip hop. In the ring, we have a J. Cole super fan versus a Drake super fan. Both will battle it out until the hopefully not so bitter end to prove that they are the ultimate stan. Whoever has the most amount of points at the end of the episode takes the win. Let's meet our contestants. First up, we have Rochelle, and I'm gonna hand it over to her to explain herself. What's up, guys? I'm Rochelle. I am the ultimate Drake stan because I snuck into his Memorial Day pool party at his house in Hidden Hills. All right, Rochelle, uh, I gotta be honest, we didn't know whether to report you or cast you in the show, but here we are. <laughs> Time will tell if we made the right choice. No, please. <laughs> Rochelle is going to be battling it out against J. Cole fanatic Alexander. What's up, Alexander? What's up? Damn, only my mom calls me Alexander if I'm in trouble, but okay, we'll go with that. Well, it looks like me and your mom have something in common, Alexander, you know what I'm saying? How does she feel about disembodied voice? Is she into it? Can I have her number? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Al is so into J. Cole. Cole, he's convinced that listening to his music and his interviews has helped make him a better man. You got a dream like you never seen obstacles. I got that tatted on me. I got coal on me. Ain't nobody got this more than me, man. That's a lofty statement. Mm. Rochelle, Al, are we ready to go? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell, hell yeah! yeah. yeah. yeah All right, Rochelle, let's start with you. Rochelle, in 2006, Drake released his first official mixtape. What was it called? Comeback season. Ah, so confident and so wrong. It was room for improvement. <laughs> okay, okay. Looks like someone else has their own room for improvement. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, girl, it's dessert time. It's about to be a cakewalk, you <laughs> All right, Al. Can you walk that cakewalk or are you all talk? We're about to find out. All right. What now non-existent country was J. Cole born in in 1985? Frankfurt, Germany. Mm. Come on, come on now, give me that. Yeah, let me hear that sound, let me hear that ding. What? Well, uh, we're not gonna give you anything, Al. That was Damn. wrong. The answer is West Germany. West Germany, oh my God. Oh! Yeah, I'll just have you know, Germany definitely still exists. This is gonna be a cakewalk, remember? Okay, back to you, Rochelle. Which Drake okay. song is this in reverse? Uh, Drake featuring City Girls. Kiki, do you love me? Na, 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 na. Hold on, That's what was the, the name of it though? Hey, Al, I'm the host of this <laughs> thing, okay? Don't forget that. Name the song to nab the point, Rochelle. Oh, oh, one second, let me get in my brain. Let me think about the... Got me in my feelings! In my feelings, by Drake. Correct! Ah! There you go. <laughs> Al, over to you. This is which J. Cole song in reverse? <laughs> Is that good thing? A girl can't be on me. This isn't karaoke, you two. What's the song, Al? Get hot and go low. Work out. Cold world. Yes, sir. Correct. I want to see you work out for me. Work out for me. Rochelle, back to you. Look what you've done off of Drake's 2011 album, Take Care, mm -hmm. features a recording at the end of the song by this person. It was Drake's grandmother leaving him a voicemail. Nicely done. You got it, Rochelle. You know your voicemails. All right, Al. J. Cole was the first artist signed to this label. It's the Rock. Rock Nation. Ho. Yes, correct. Rochelle, which image here is Drake's leather jacket wearing torso? I'm going to go with number two. Correct the mundo. Right. Very nice job, Rochelle. I know my man. I know my man. <laughs> okay, Al, which tie-dye image is the psychedelic wearing J. Cole? Sheesh! I'm gonna go with number two. Ugh, two ah. is bad bunny. And the correct answer is four. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that shirt. Rochelle, revealed in the first few seconds of the music video, what was the budget of Drake's God's plan? If you don't know this, I'm gonna answer for you. The budget? <laughs> <laughs> Was it $10 million? Ah! The budget was this. Whatever this is, that's way too long for me to read. Yeah. Al. Yeah. J. Cole co-produced this Kendrick Lamar track with Kanai Finch. Oof. Uh, co-produced, oh my God, it's one of two records right now and I can only give you one answer. I'm gonna go with High Power from Section 80. Old school, but the answer is the jig is up. 
dumping. Oh my god. Looks like the jig is up now, huh? Rochelle with the zingers. I love it. Back to you. This screenshot of the iconic MTV Moon person is a close up from which Drake music video? You know, we had to get that one in there. <sighs> wow, this is a little tricky. I feel like I know this one. Good for you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I am going to say Hotline Bling. Ah. All right, I meant to be neutral, but even I'll admit, that was a terrible guess. The answer is Tootsie Slide. What were you guys during the pandemic? Tootsie Slide. All right, Al. This screenshot of an animal head is a close-up from which J. Cole music video? Is that, is that a ram? Is that a goat? Yeah. Uh, can't get enough. Al, the answer is Middle child. That one really no. got you, huh? Middle child? Oh, middle I child. just watched the video the other day, too. <laughs> Rochelle, over to you. After the United States, Drake has played the most concerts in this country. Okay. I'm going to say in Canada. Nah, you fell right into our little trap. It was actually the United Kingdom. Ooh, oh, I was thinking that, too. <laughs> Oh, you were thinking that too, Al? Or should we say, know it, Al? Here's your question, Al. In 2020, J. Cole won his first Grammy for this song. A lot, 21 Savage featuring J. Cole. Boom goes the dynamite. Mm. You got that one, Al, nice job. All right, time to see if you can read the mind of your artist. It's complete the tweet. Ah, okay. In a tweet from February 2013, Drake said, I never tweet what I'm doing because I'd just be like, A, shoving pizza in my mouth right now and dropping bars, B, yo, who else is up eating granola and watching Aubrey Plaza interview snippets? C, hi fam, I'm texting my mom and then just gonna do what she tells me to, or D, sup, rewatching old Degrassi clips. What about you? I'm gonna go with A. The correct answer is B. Oh, Woo! so close. Sorry, Rochelle. Al, over to you. The year is 2017 and the month is September. J. Cole has posted, also blank, I seen your blank interview, loved it. Don't put all that pressure on your album. You already won. Just drop and repeat. Did he say, A, also, you know who you are, I seen your Sway in the Morning interview. B, also Brockhampton. I seen your Beats 1 interview. C, also Cardi B. I seen your Breakfast Club interview. Or D, also SZA. I seen your Hot 97 interview. Light work. C, final answer. Labardi. Congratulations, you are correct. I remember that. Back to Rochelle. For which song did Drake win best hip hop video at the 2016 VMAs? Ooh. Mmm, that's a good question, you know. Um, you don't look like you know this one. <laughs> I'm going to say, was it Worst Behavior? No, it was Hotline Bling, Ooh. Rochelle. Hotline Bling! Al, over to you. The opening shot of the video for Amari features a helicopter with this word written on the side. Dreamville. Correct. Cool. Very nice work. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay, let's, let's continue. Go. Your victory dance was very cute. All right, no flirting. Uh, one more question for you each to close out round one. Rochelle, which Drake song is this the very first note of? Oh, come on. That is tough. I'm sorry, is that worst behavior? No, but that could have been the worst answer. The correct answer is take care. Yes, yeah, sir! Oh my god! Al, this is the first note of which J. Cole song? Mm. First things first, recipes, Uncle Phil! Apparently. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I have to take your first oh, answer. Oh, I got the wrong one! Hold on, I got the lyrics, but the name of the song wrong. The answer is no role models. Yes, Rochelle, take that flex. The answer is no role models. You got that wrong, Al. I was flowing with it, though. All right, halfway through the game, Al, you are in the lead with five points, and Rochelle, you're not too far behind with three. Yes, That'll sir. change. That'll change. Ooh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, round two, and Al, you're up first this time. In front of you, you see nine screenshots from various J. Cole music videos, but which five screenshots are from Wet Dreams? All right, so like we got like the color schematics. You see like it's like a little grainy, a little dark on some of them. We got, obviously we got the puppy. 
the whole video is about puppies. I'm going one, two, four, six, seven. Final answer. You had me so convinced with that confidence, but that is wrong, what they want Al. Ooh. The correct answer is four, five, seven, eight, uh, and nine. Really? Nine was in there? Okay, Rochelle, you know the drill. Which five images here are from the God's Plan music video? I am going to say the five from God's Plan are one, two, four, five, and six. Wrong! Jeez. Four, five, six, oh, seven, eight are the God. screenshots that are from God's plan. Well, you both failed that capture game, so you might both be robots. Who knows? <laughs> Al, one of J. Cole's early part time jobs had him dress up as this type of animal at a local ice skating rink. <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna go with. A mouse slash rat. The answer is a kangaroo. A kangaroo, that's what it was. Rochelle, sticking with the animals, Drake voiced a character named Ethan in the 2014 film Ice Age, but what kind of now extinct animal was Ethan? Oh Ooh. my God. I didn't even know he was on that film. What is that ugly animal? Was it a, a, a woolly mammoth? Yes, it was. And it was a gorgeous ah! woolly mammoth, I'll have you know, Rochelle. Well done. Al, let's see if you can tell what we changed about J. Cole's face here. The eyes, 100%. Al, so close. Again, with that confidence leading you astray. The you were on the right track, what? though. We photoshopped the brows. The brows, for sure. Wow, duh, he got the unis. Ugh. All right, Rochelle. Let's see it. How well do you know your man's face and entire head? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, you guys did a good job on this one. You guys changed his beard. That is incorrect, Rochelle. We brought him to the piercing parlor and gave him this <laughs> itty bitty hoop earring. That was a great Photoshop. Kudos to you guys. Al, in the song Power Trip, J. Cole says doing this is coward Sending anonymous flowers. Yes, yeah. that is it, Al. Rochelle, this pro sports team hired Drake to be their global ambassador. That's uh, the Toronto Raptors. Yep, give yourself a round of applause. Al, this is which J. Cole song in reverse? That definitely sounds like um, a lot. 21 Savage and J. Cole, final answer. The answer is Heaven's EP. Oh my God, Heaven. Oh. Oh, Okay, Rochelle, this yes. is which Drake song in reverse? Is it Hell Yeah, right? Hell no. The answer is what's next? Oh my God. Wow. Al, what was the name of the Rwanda based basketball team that J. Cole signed to in 2021? Patriots uh, Basketball Club. Slam dunk! Mm -hmm. Nice work, Al. Rochelle, for what show did Drake earn his first Emmy nomination? I'm gonna, this is, I'm, I'm butchering this. I'm gonna say Degrassi. That's not nope. what I wanted to say, but I. Give me that buzzer! Euphoria is the answer. Oh my yep. God! Al, you've done this once, you're gonna do it again. This is the first note of which J. Cole song? Born Ready. Da, da, da. I never fall out with the bro. And then, and then, and then, and the bro. Amari, final answer. Nice work, Al. Thank God that singing yeah. paid off. Rochelle. Okay. Which Drake song is this the first note of? <laughs> I'm gonna say, is that over by Drake? And I'm gonna say you're wrong. That was the first note of falling back. Oh, oh my wow. God. Al, J. Cole graduated from St. John's in 2007 with a GPA of 3.8, no less, but didn't receive his diploma until 2015. What was this delay due to? This was due, oh my God. Well, because he started touring. He was rapping, he started blowing up. Hey, that is a very mm. good logical guess, Al, but it was actually an overdue library book that caused the delay. That's right, he did speak about that. Oh my God. Hey, Rochelle, in a 2017 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Drake mentioned he wanted to buy himself what birthday treat valued at $160,000. 
A watch. See, that would have been a logical answer, but, and you're gonna love this one, Rochelle, it was a first edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone worth 160K. Is that not insane? Oh. What a nerd. Oh my yeah. gosh, Aubrey. I forgot. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right for him, for sure. Al, we're dipping into the MTV archive for our next question. In 2010, MTV News interviewed J. Cole, and he said the following. I feel like I got a lot to prove. Now, what did he say next? A, like, that's why I go so hard on my features or anything I do. B, like, that's why I spend so much time in the studio. C, like, that's why I compare myself to the greats and do what they do. Or D, like, that's why I release so much material. All right, so it's not D because he doesn't release so much material. Uh, he does spend a lot of time in the studio, but he does compare himself to the greats and do what they do. And he talks about studying them a lot. I'm gonna go with C, that's why I compare myself to the greats and do what they do. Final answer. I feel like I got a lot to prove. Like that's why I go so hard on my features. No! And, uh, no! It's a freestyle I drop. No! Man, I feel like I got a lot to prove. I've been wanting this for a long time. Damn. Absolutely yeah. wrong. The answer is A, Al. Come on. Rochelle, let's head over to you so Al can take a breather, poor guy. In a 2009 MTV News interview, Drake said, I'm always just learning about myself, man. That's really what my music is about, you know? So um, I don't even necessarily know all the time. Now, what did he say next? A, who the right woman for me might be? B, how to carry myself in public? C, who Drake is? D, what I even want in life? I'm gonna say C, who Drake is. All right, let's see if you're right. I'm always just learning about myself, man. That's really what my music is about. You look so you know? different. So, um, I don't even necessarily know all the time who Drake is. You know, Correct. I just take it day by day and learn more as much as I can about myself. And as I learn, I choose to share with my fans. Okay, Al, before rapping as J. Cole, what was one of his early rap names? Uh, therapist. Correct, and you could have also said Blazer. All right, Rochelle, as of March, 2023, how many times has Drake appeared on Saturday Night Live? Not just hosted, but appeared. I'm going to say he's been on SNL twice. And I'm gonna say, you're wrong. Ooh. Three times, come on, everybody knows that. He has hosted and performed twice, which might be what you're referring to, but he also appeared once as the musical guest only in 2011, so that makes it three, technically. And now, for the final round. It's high risk, high reward, Ooh. where gambling is permitted. Right now, our score is Rochelle with six points. Not great, but you know, also not the worst ever. No. And Al, who's in the lead, with nine points. Ooh. Yes, sir. Remember, this is anyone's game. The question now is, how much are you willing to bet? I want you both to write down your wagers and on the count of three, reveal them. One, two, three, show me the numbers. Woo! Okay, so Al is wagering four points. Rochelle is putting it all on the line with her entire six points. Rochelle, are you ready for your final question? Yes, I am. In a July 2010 interview with Nardwar, Drake was presented with an album as a gift on which his uncle, Willie Mitchell, was a producer. Name the artist whose album it was. Here are your options. A, Al Green. B, Grandmaster Flash. C, Shania Twain. D, Elvis Presley. Please write down your answer. Al, over to you. J. Cole first got into production after his mother purchased him this sampler as a Christmas gift. Here's your options. A, MPC 3000. B, QY 700 sequencer. C, ASR X Pro. Or D, TR 808. Please write down your answer. We ready. All right, we'll see about that, Al. On the count of three, reveal your answers. One, two, three. You both said A. Okay, Rochelle, you said A. The correct answer is A. Ah! That's amazing. Okay, so now this is still anyone's game. Al, if you get this right, mm. you win the game. Ain't no if. Al, you also said A. The correct answer is C. Oh! 
No! Listen, I'm the winner, winner chicken dinner. I'm the ultimate Drake stand. Can you believe this? After a winning streak for the whole game, all that bravado, all that confidence, you have fallen. I am. That's why I chose A, because I knew you were absolutely not gonna win. It was for the attitude that you gave me earlier, okay? You was losing it all game. You lucky this had this whole gamble of this amount of points, because I was consistent through it all. But Listen, you know what? how However you sleep at I'll night, Al. Do you guys give our participation awards or something? Because he should have something. <laughs> Jermaine Cole, if you're watching, is this your stand? You ain't even know none of Drake's songs. The first notes or the reverse. Ooh, it's getting heated about. in here. That's Let's wrap this up before it escalates. Hey, that concludes this episode of Stan vs. Stan. Let me know in the comments how you would have fared today. Would you have beaten our stands? All right, until next time, goodbye!